What benefits have I seen from talking about mental health at work? I've seen a lot of really awesome benefits. In my case, in the rare occasions when I have been able to confide in colleagues, it's an enormous relief. And I'm actually better for it. Um, I'm still able to do my job, um, even more so um, with this experience. So I think it's always really good to be able to um, work through situations and issues that a person might be having in terms of their mental health, rather than letting people go at, this, at the first sign of trouble. That kind yeah. of culture doesn't kind of work either, and it's you know, against the law. It builds confidence in individuals to know that their mental illness doesn't actually define them as individuals. Instead of feeling that I have a secret, uh, that I must keep guarded uh, at all costs, it makes life much less stressful, uh, knowing that there are people around who appreciate uh, the situation I'm in and to whom I can turn when, uh, for advice when things get a little difficult. If, um, if someone's feeling that they're being supported and engaged with in terms of their own personal situation, they're going to be much more able and willing to, to tackle those issues that they might be facing yeah. you know, more honestly or openly than perhaps they have done in the past. All the staff are aware of my potential to become unwell, but I suppose um, on a personal level, none of them have actually um, approached me or you know, wanted to know a little bit more about what triggers my... Um, my mental health uh, episodes or what, um, what they can do to sort of better support me. The prevalence of mental health issues at work, I think, is completely under-quantified and underestimated. So I think it's definitely important that um, everyone feels comfortable to talk about their stuff, because we actually all have stuff, whether we've got a label for it or not. Yeah, so what happens if we don't do something about it? Well, um, well one, you're going to get a whole lot of people suffering in silence. I think the worst case is, is that you know, things like suicide rates to me are unacceptably high in this country. The impact of not talking about mental health openly in the workplace is not only emotional, it doesn't only affect the culture, but it's financial. You know? By not talking about it, you, you are subject to sick leave, more sick leave, more attrition, more training costs, more employment costs. That all costs us, bottom line if we can't talk about these things at work. If you don't understand that a person brings their whole selves to work and that's the kit and caboodle, everything in the, in the box, then you can be taken by surprise. And, and things can you know, go pear-shaped when they needn't have gone pear-shaped if only you understood mm. what was, at the, what was under, underneath and, and had some you know, strategies that you'd agreed would, would help with that. And I think in the end, from a business point of view, if you've got 20, 30% of your staff that are suffering from a mental health issue, and then you've got the next end of the spectrum where it's not got to that point, but it's getting to that point, it's going to affect your business. I can tell you that the cost of losing a good person is about one and a half times that salary, that, that person's salary, by the time you recruit someone else and you train them and you bring them up to speed so they're as productive as the person who you lost. Losing a good person just because you, you know, don't have the energy or the will to, to, to help them um, deal with another part of their person, which is not necessarily the work person, just seems like a complete waste. There's nothing to say that you would not employ someone with those problems again and again and again, and it's better to have those skills to be able to manage and deal with those sorts of things rather than just, you know, ignoring it, you know? And, and you know, loyalty in the workplace is huge. If you're supporting somebody through those issues, you know, through various issues, whatever they might be, you're going to get it back you know, um, doubly in terms of um, um, you know, just loyalty and, and energy for, for the work that they're involved in. I want something to happen. I want something to change because there's a lot of people going through this that it, sh it just doesn't need to happen. So, um, and that's just a fact of life. You know, if your staff aren't at their best and they're suffering and people are seeing other people suffer, it's going to hurt you. So I don't think you can afford not to look at it, to be honest.